Hello. What are you doing here? Hello. I was about to ask you the same thing. You are in a restricted area, you know. Really? I didn't see any barriers. Well, the barrier is sort of invisible. This property belongs to Latsada Construction, and trespassing is prohibited. An invisible barrier? Is it patrolled by invisible guards, too? Quite right. Actually, I don't really care, as long as you don't get in my way. I wasn't planning to. Have you seen a saint around here? Or anything that might somehow be connected to a saint? No silly jokes, please. I'm serious about this. Okay. No jokes, but no saints either. Is this pile of rubble really all that's left of Gatineau? As far as I know, yes. What are you doing here, exactly? I am surveying the land. I can see that. But what for? They're building a theme park, and the ruins of Gatineau are supposed to become part of the park. A walk-in tourist attraction? Precisely. And my job is to determine the paths along which hordes of tourists may wander without creating a hazard. For the visitors, or for the ruins? Both. After all, 100 people crashing through the floor of a historic town would be rather unfortunate for the people, as well as the town. Seems reasonable, but isn't there a risk that you might destroy something valuable here yourself? No, the archaeologists have already finished. Otherwise, I would not be allowed to walk around here, and you shouldn't be allowed here anyway. Just pretend I'm not here. What did the archaeologists find here? Anything exciting? I don't know. They had already left when I got here. Too bad. So there's nothing here now but rocks? Hmm. Did you have anything in particular in mind? Maybe I can help you. In what way? Well, the archaeologists might have overlooked something. Huh. You mean you found something before? Who knows? That's robbery. An outright crime against science. My ex-boyfriend would take you to court for that. But he is not here, is he? And since I am willing to turn a blind eye to your being in a restricted area... I get it. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Exactly. If you should happen to come across something that might have historical value... I'll bear that in mind. So, you're hoping to stumble upon a few historic relics? Of course. Everyone must fend for himself, you know. And a surveyor's wages are not much to live on. What are you looking for, exactly? Anything that could be valuable. Silverware, ceramic jugs, coins, anything at all. But with all this rubble lying about, how would you even get to it? Don't worry. My car's loaded with heavy-duty equipment. I could pull a whole house down. So never mind a bit of rubble. Oh, okay. I'll leave you to your work, then. Okay. Here's something to get hooked on. I could tug at this hook, and the crane would topple over, and that would knock down the information board, unearthing the hidden oil well that I would quickly appropriate, and then... The town of Gatineau, as it must have looked in the Middle Ages. I'll just push one of these buttons. Dear visitor, welcome to the Gatineau Excavation Site. We would like to give you a brief overview of the eventful and mysterious history of the medieval town of Gatineau. Please select one of the following options. In the late 7th century, Benedictine monks built an abbey on this spot in memory of the late Archbishop Ostrebert of Rouen. In just a few years, the abbey blossomed into a thriving town that gained particular importance due to its location along the trade route from Rouen to Paris. 
In the early hours of April 5th, 1658, a devastating inferno raged in the streets of the small town. More than half of its population, caught asleep in bed, succumbed to the flames. Nearly all of the buildings were burned to the ground. For reasons that remain a mystery to this very day, the town's restoration was never even attempted. The few who survived fled to neighboring villages and towns in a panic. In a single night, a prospering town was transformed into a charred patch of earth that would not be built upon for centuries to come. When the construction work for a new theme park began in early 2002, the surveyors unexpectedly came across the remains of a long-forgotten town. Large sections of Gatineau have been uncovered over the past few years. The ruins and certain reconstructed buildings will be open to the public as part of the new theme park. A small museum is planned as well. A construction vehicle. There's no way I can use that without a key. The cleanest, sweetest smelling snack stand I've ever seen. Of course, that might be because there's nothing cooking. Oh shucks! A great big tear in this here empty paper cup! A large sheet of aluminum foil. Fortune cookies. Somewhat shapeless. Looks like they're homemade. I'll just take one of these fortune cookies. It says, be right back. Do I look like the kind of person who just picks up anything that isn't nailed down? Yes, all right. I'm going to leave it there anyway. A solid concrete post. It is an ever-fixed post that looks on tempests and is never shaken. The sign says, To the ruins of Gatineau. The sign can be turned, but what way should I turn it, and why? The Lazzara Construction Company is building here. I guess these are the largest letters they could find. A plastic boulder as the company logo of Lazzare Construction. How very creative. It's screwed tightly in place. Some construction workers spend months living in these things. One of the main reasons why I decided against working in this field. It's locked, and secured with heavy padlocks, too. Looks like someone really wanted to make sure it would be safe. Hmm, there's all kinds of stuff scattered on this table. An old power cable, a pocket knife, and a spirit level.
artistically wrap a sheet of aluminum foil around a paper cup and you will get a paper cup wrapped in aluminum foil. Fascinating. It doesn't really look all that fortunate. This little gadget has any number of amazing uses. An adventurer's dream tool. From the land of whole ridden cheese and numbered bank accounts. A spirit level with a built-in laser pointer. Goodness knows what it's used for. An extension cable. A small cloth pouch. Très chic. I would love to just hop in the car and drive far away from here. However, that wouldn't solve any of my problems. It prohibits parking for anyone but the employees of Lazare Construction. A sign is screwed in place quite firmly. This car wasn't parked here yesterday. I can't repair it, and I can't really do any more damage either. I think I should just let it rest in peace. Who is the fairest of them all? This pocket knife is really unique. I hope I don't lose it. This boulder may be fake, but it sure looks like the real thing. Oh, a statue. I wonder who it's supposed to be. Oh, here you are. Yes. What is this statue? No idea. I was hoping you could tell me. There is a plaque on the statue. Well... The inscription is quite weathered. It appears to be a statue of Saint... Uh, Saint something. His name is barely discernible. Saint? Yes. Our Saint? The one Elise mentioned in her letter? Yes. Possibly. I didn't think he'd be this easy to find. So now what? Now I will try to decipher the inscription. While I take yet another look around for more clues? Exactly. I feared as much. Did you discover any more clues in Sister Elise's letter? Alas, no. I went through the trouble of retranslating everything, but there was nothing that caught my eye. Can I have the new translation? Certainly. At least we know now what to do. I decipher, you go on looking. Who knows, maybe this inscription isn't the clue we're looking for after all. What else then? No idea. Okay. I'll keep looking. This is very likely the statue Sister Elise mentioned, which means that this statue shows the way to the hiding place. Now I only need to figure out what that means. Yeah, right. Only. Oh well. Where there's a will, there's a way. And where wood is chopped, splinters must fall. Time to hunt for the next clue. <laughs>